In uh, one of my previous videos, I showed the, uh, the Bullfinch um, 4100 LPG gas gun in action, and this is the gun uh, I demonstrated at that particular point in time, and I indicated that um, it was a good system for home workshop use. Um, it allowed you to bronze braze, uh, hard bronze braze, small components, but I didn't actually show you any of the type of jobs I've done with it, so I'll just give you a quick run through in a brief video. The main benefit of it is that you can do small to medium stuff with it quite easily. Now in this case with say um, a chuck wrench that I knocked up and you can see where I brazed the, uh, I actually originally made it up out of an old uh, shaft, bronzed in the T-piece through the middle of it. I mean you could pin it but bronzing is stronger and better. And then later on I machined up these cylinders and brazed them on so that I could use it to tap the fore jaw into position, um, you know, the components in a fore jaw when I was setting it up, it's like a little mini hammer so I can use it sort of um, do up the chuck and move your work on your fore jaw and give it a bit of a tap here and there and uh, but that's the sort of diameter you're talking about as far as how much metal it was successfully bronze so it's, it's quite capable. On here is the nut, a nut I put on the uh, top of the mill slide uh, which is quite a big nut. I bronze that onto some uh, flat um, section um, and the nuts on there so that I can use a power driver um, on a drill to move the slide up and down uh, for very repetitive work. So once again that's a fairly big job for a little gun. did it quite well. So that's the sort of stuff it can do but the, the big benefit is of course you can make your own tooling and that's the big benefit. In this case, uh, here's some home, or here's a, a re-tipped boring bar, and that's been re-tipped with a broken uh, carbide um, indexable cutter. So you can see how it's done that. It's done a good job on that. There's a whole range of these. There's another one that was uh, re-carbided. Um, it was a commercial one, an old one, and I've been using them. Once again, I just reused uh, some broken carbide indexable tips that I that I got from my other tooling. You just easily break the carbide, uh, wrap it in a rag and hit it with a hammer on top of the vise and it will smash you to pieces and you can then braze it and then once you've brazed it on you then just grind it to shape with your uh, green stone. And here's a little boring bar I made up to do um, uh, o-ring uh, grooves, uh, internal o-ring grooves and that's basically a piece of rod brazed into a board out square section and then a uh, carbide tip braised on. So as you can see you can easily build up your own components um, once you've got one of these guns and I seem to use it most for the uh, boring bar side of things although here's a little um, profiling cutter I, I knocked up to do um, a, a pulley um, so I could get in. That's a 30, 33 degree or 35 degree uh, carbide um, tip and I use it for profiling. So that's the sort of stuff you can do with this gun and um, as I said in the previous uh, video they're a couple hundred dollars but they are good and um, it makes it very easy to do that sort of work and also very easy to repair very small light metal components that you would otherwise have no hope of, of doing with any of the conventional arc type welders. I mean they would just literally vaporise. Um, whereas uh, with uh, hard bronze it will capillarate into uh, or between the components so that I mean in this case here it's capillarated between the, the full back of the nut and the metal plate. So whereas with arc you'd only be putting a bead around there and on the outside and that's the only place it would actually be adhering. With hard bronze it actually is gripping on the full surface area of the back of the nut onto the uh, the metal it's, it's gone onto. So it's very very strong and uh, and it's quite hard. So um, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. It's just a bit of an insight into what you can do with this um, type of gun and uh, see you next time.